Hey there, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas, FD Rover, and I'm out in Anza Borrego today, and I wanted to share with you my initial thoughts on my brand new Anchor Powerhouse 767. I was actually in the market to update my Goal Zero uh, equipment and I stumbled upon Anchor and they have now got involved in the solar uh, generator business and uh, I started to look at uh, this compared to Goal Zero and made the decision that for me, given what I want to do with the unit, uh, the Anchor was a far better option for me. So I'll talk about a couple things that made that decision. Probably the first one was simply the fact that uh, the unit has a five-year warranty. Um, Anchor says that this unit probably is good for around 10 years, which is if you're going to invest the kind of money that we're talking about, you want to have a return on that money. And uh, you know, if it goes for 10 years, that's gonna be pretty great. By then we'll have some kind of crazy way to generate power and, and I'll certainly want to be upgrading by then. Um, the second thing is that uh, if this unit is completely depleted, you can plug it into a wall socket and in a couple of hours, maybe two, two and a half hours, you can have that fully charged. In comparison to the Goal Zero, it would take me almost probably overnight or even maybe 12, 15 hours to, to go from zero to fully charged. So that's a really nice option. If you get into a situation where you don't have solar during the day and you, uh, you, know, you check into a hotel or you get to a place where you can plug this unit in, you can have it fully charged in no time at all. Um, a couple of other things that I appreciate, it's got a 30 amp plug, uh, RV style plug. That's not 30 amps, it's 20 amps. But if you have a trailer or anything and you want to run a microwave and you don't have a, an inverter in the trailer, you can plug this unit in to run the microwave uh, or any other options that you would have in the trailer that would require 110. So one of the concerns I had, and you really can't tell um, when you're online or anything, is just how big this unit is and how heavy it is. And I uh, can tell you is it's over 60 pounds, but it's pretty manageable with the two handles. And uh, it's, it's big, obviously, but um, it's, not as, it's not as big a deal as I thought it would be. Particularly with the wheels and the luggage handle, it makes it, uh, makes it easy to transport around. But I just thought I'd show you uh, the size. I'm 6'2 and about 185 pounds. And uh, this is the size of the unit uh, with me holding it. And I can hold it um, like this, no problem. Obviously, I'm going to have to reconfigure everything. Right now, I have the solar panels. And I've got, with the package, I got two anchor solar panels. They're 200 uh, watts each. Um, I actually got here yesterday. The unit was down. Uh, probably probably in the 85% range. I uh, just plugged them in momentarily. It's been really windy out here and uh, literally in 15 minutes the unit was fully charged. So I'll do a separate, um, separate review and video on the panels. Uh, they are expensive but uh, they're matched with the powerhouse um, and I think they're probably something worth your consideration. They seem to be pretty rugged, so um, again, time will tell. Let me go over a couple of things that I think are really um, kind of a game changer. One is um, this unit uses GAN Prime, which is Anchor's uh, most intelligent fast charging system. So as I mentioned before, um, compared to most other uh, products on the market, this thing will, uh, will absolutely charge quickly. Uh, the unit has 2,400 watts or 2,448 watt hours. Uh, it's unibody drop proof design. One thing I wasn't crazy about um, when I saw this unit online is it looks pretty fancy and I didn't think it was very durable. 
But um, seeing it in real life, it's, it's actually quite well made. Um, it is still a little bit on the fancy side for overlanding, but um, I've got no doubt that it's going to stand up pretty well to, um, to off-road use and hard, hard off-road use. Uh, it does have up to a thousand watt solar input, uh, which would be crazy. I think if you had a uh, decent sun, you could probably, uh, with four or five panels, you could probably charge the whole thing up from, from dead in two, two and a half hours. Of course, you'd be challenged just to get that many solar panels into your rig. Um, but my idea is with the two 200 watt panels, if I keep it topped off every day, I think it will allow me to do perfectly adequate uh, without having to carry more, more panels. So thanks for stopping by. I appreciate, uh, appreciate you uh, viewing. If you found this uh, video useful, I'd appreciate a like. If you like to, to see reviews on overlanding and camping equipment, please consider subscribing. If you see me out and about, please stop by and say hi. And remember, get outside.